Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Adam and Orange and welcome to the review for the Metal Earth model of the Imperial AT Hauler. This is a model from the Star Wars story, the Solo movie, if you haven't seen that already. And this is the last of the Solo inspired models that I have built. I've built all the rest of them and this is the last one and I will say that unintentionally I seem to have picked the easiest of all five. And I say five because there's four Metal Earth style smaller models and there's one Iconics model which is Lando's Falcon. And that one was pretty easy too so this one's probably maybe right in line with that, maybe a little bit easier. It could go either way. Now that's not to say this is a particularly easy easy model because most of the Star Wars models are at least a medium and this one's still a medium build but on the lighter side of medium, in my opinion. Didn't have a whole lot of trouble with this build. You start off by putting the central body together and this underneath part, a little bit finicky, but really not that bad. And then the upper body section, really simple, really straightforward. Adding these pieces on the back, really simple and straightforward. There's a little bit of complex angles on the side, but not too bad. Very easy to guess and get correctly the first try. No problems with it. And I, I will say that I, if you look closely at the center, center of it, there is some similarities between this body shape and then at, at Walker. And I noticed that right away. But where it starts to get a little bit difficult in the build is the side pieces. And that's still not to say it's terribly difficult. The first issue that I ran into is inside of here are these almost wiry stack things and I'm guessing these are probably some sort of grappler for hauling the at, at haulers I'm really not sure but it's simply you start off by assembling once you get to the wing parts once you're done with the central body you start off by putting these together and that is a little bit tricky the centerpiece not too bad this centerpiece goes in the sides fold around it I found it was easiest to fold one side up all the way at 90 degrees the other side not quite fish the part in there and get the one tab on the 90 degree side in and then fold the other side over the other tab, fold those tabs down, that's not that big a deal. Then you have a top section and a bottom section that sit on top of tabs. And the first problem I ran into was when you fold those tabs over, because this metal on the side is so very thin, it, the tab doesn't want to just fold over, the whole part wants to warp, the whole side part wants to warp. So I found it better to hold the sides with some sort of pliers or tweezers while folding the top down with something else. And that made for a much neater look. That was the first small issue I ran into. And beyond that, it was just orienting things correctly. And I had some issues where I didn't pay sufficient attention and I actually put some things on the wrong way and had to go back and correct it. The first little goof that I made is when you're putting parts 29 and 30 together, pay attention to which way part 30 is oriented because there's a tab sticking out one way and the other way and there's no clear indication on the piece itself which way to put part 29 on. Sometimes they'll have a little bit of engraving to show which side that part goes on that matches the part you're putting on. With 30 they don't. You have to pay attention to the directions and see which way those tabs are, are at because if you put the part on the wrong side and then you go to mount it in the wing assembly or side part assembly the wrong thing will be on the inside if you put it on backwards. That was the first small issue I ran into and there's no attention point on the instructions where be a good place to put an attention point. So that was the first error I made. Then right behind that part 31 I did make also make the mistake again no attention points but I should have been paying closer attention. Part 30 has four tabs on one side and two on the other. Four tabs mount to the larger piece. Those two tabs have to be facing a particular way and I put them on facing the other way so that the following pieces did not mount correctly and I had to go back and change that. But it was just, from then on, it was just a lot of making sure pieces are oriented correctly and there's not a lot of hints to doing that, so I made some mistakes myself, so watch out for those things. And a lot of just angled out tabs that it helps to bend them straight so that they'll easily plug into their next connection or align with their next slots. Beyond that, it's pretty simple circular shaping and angling parts and folding things over and just plugging stuff together. It's really straightforward and simple build. I didn't get frustrated at all with this build. I took my time and worked through a couple of mistakes that were as much my fault, if not more my fault than anything else, for just not paying sufficient attention. The parts with the size that warp, if you forget to 
if you don't hold the center piece or hold the side piece when you fold the tab over that warping that's just a small thing you learn over time with building these models I noticed that was happening I went back and corrected the mistake I made and did a better job from moving forward really not very frustrating not a frustrating build at all and it is a pretty interesting looking model once it's finally built now I've seen the movie you do see this thing on the screen but they really don't talk much about it it's something that they've basically stole steal for a job and there's just not much focus or talk about it it's just sort of a used character and that's it so it is neat for me to have actually built the model and hold it in my hand and take a look at it and I can see a couple of little areas where some scenes take place in this little caged area down here there's a scene or two on that platform and it's a neat little model to hold in your hand and it's not too bad looking I do remember when they first when Fascinations first put pictures out of this model coming out these side pieces were actually faced up and then they changed it I guess it'd be kind of neat if they tilted or turned but that's really not a big deal it's a neat little model to add to the collection it's neat that it, it has a somewhat AT inspired look to the center part it is a fairly easy build so if you're looking to build the solo models and you want to start easy and work your way up this and the Iconics Millennium Falcon would probably be the way to go the rest of them are fairly frustrating well not fairly frustrating the rest of them have more frustrations to them this one doesn't very simple very clean very easy to build model and I enjoyed building it not a big challenge so if you're in for the big challenge this is not a big challenge but if you're in for an easier build this is the way to go Either way, you end up with a nice, clean, neat looking model to add to your collection. The total build time for this is about 2 hours and 45 minutes and I was really surprised when I finally did the math and figured out how much time I spent putting it together because I was just surprised. It really felt like it took like an hour and a half to put together. For me it was broken up a lot because there were some interruptions building this model. The uh, benefit of being a dad and having things come up that you just have to take care of broke the build up a little bit. So maybe that's part of it, but I really think, I, I oftentimes comment on how long it took and how long it felt it took, because the more frustrating it is, the longer it seems to take the build. The easier it is, the more it just comes together, the quicker it seems to go. And that is something I've definitely noticed after 200 and some builds of 3D metal models. This one does not feel like it takes over two hours. It felt like it took like an hour and a half. It was just easy and it came together fairly quickly fairly simple to do. If you're interested in seeing how I put the entire thing together I'll put a link to the full build video in the description down below and here at the end of this video in just a second. Also if you enjoy these videos consider becoming a Patreon supporter. A small small donation goes a long way in helping keeping these build videos, review videos, and news videos coming. And thank you to the Patreon supporters that I already have for your support and your generous donations for helping me to enjoy this hobby and share it with others. You'll also find a link to my Patreon in the description below here in just a second at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.